Hello everyone, Roach here, finally bringing you some Minecraft. 1.8 just got released and I am ready to go. Um, originally I was planning on doing a uh, Let's Play Man vs. Minecraft. Um, but there's so far I've been looking at the forums and there's been a lot of problems with uh, 1.8 crashing and some weird world generations. Like one guy posted a... Um, a huge map of his which was all ocean there was like one island in the middle so although that sounds really cool I don't think I'm I'm gonna wait a little bit till they fix the uh, the bugs and then I'll do a uh, um, a man versus minecraft so for this one I'm just doing a let's play and here we go getting right into it I'm gonna try to uh, outline some of the new things that are being implemented as I go or as I find them I don't know too much about them yet so as I find things I'll let you guys know let me lower the volume here alright it's still pretty loud um so the first thing I'm gonna wanna do for uh, today is uh get some wood, get some cobblestone, get some basic tools and uh, find a nice place to camp out for the night. Um, the way I'm going to be running this let's play is basically try to do every other day at least one actual day and night cycle and that'll be one one video and uh, you know if I can do more, if I can do one every single day then that'd be great but wow right off the bat look at that that's nice um, I'm not sure if this was originally in the other Minecrafts, but the other Minecraft updates. But in 1.8, they said they were going to have new way of generating a uh, um, actual terrain, and that looks pretty cool. So that's a nice start. Um, let's see. So yeah, I'm going to try to release one every single day. But if not, you can expect one every other day. And I'm guessing that's sort of a swamp. I've been hearing that there's a swamp biome and that looks like it. So I'm going to go down there and get some trees. Oh, I should also point out that the uh, the uh, visuals that I'm using is uh, LB's photorealism. I'll post a link on the description. Makes the game look really nice. i got to figure out how to get down here without dying. Pain to get back up. Um, so some of the new things that have uh, been implemented. Uh, reading off here, I see that uh, we've got sprinting now. Um, that's really good, especially for hello chicken. Uh, when you got creepers chasing you, stuff like that. As you can see, I'm sprinting. Also now I have a hunger bar, as you can see on the bottom of my screen, above the the inventory on the right, there's like these little chicken bars. That's my hunger bar. I have to uh, manage that, make sure that uh, I keep that up. Um, as long as I keep it above 9, my health recovers, so it's always good to keep it above 9 bars. Uh, let's see what else combat has changed a little bit now when you uh, attack there's a chance of scoring critical hits and you can force a critical hit every single time if you jump and then attack uh, there's also when you sprint if you attack there's a chance that you can push the guy back actually not a chance it, it's a definite possibility if you actually sprint and then hit him um, bows have been reworked now bows are uh, you can charge them up and shoot them uh, for farther distance. So that's a pretty good addition. Uh, oh, I can see this coal there. So let me see. Let me find somewhere to camp out for today. Oh, this is a great spot. Let's uh, let's make a workbench. Actually, we gotta make the planks first. Sorry. Crafting table. Uh, 
You gotta patch up that hole after, I don't want anybody dropping down in here. Just gonna make a pickaxe here. And yeah, that's all I'm gonna make because now I can get cobblestone. And then I can just make cobblestone tools. Actually, let me lower the music. I don't even know if you guys can hear me here. There we go. So I'm just gonna get a few cobblestone here. Make sure I have enough for tools and a furnace. Again, I have to manage my hunger bar, so I'm gonna want to get some food before nightfall. There we go. Actually, let me kill this chicken. I've been told that uh, chickens now drop chicken meat or something like that. Where'd you go? There, you go? there we go. So we got some food there. Um, need some tools. Oh, and I should also point out, if you notice when I killed the chicken, uh, the green bar between the hunger bar, the health bar, and the actual inventory bar lit up. Um, that's experience. Now, right now, experience has no effect. It just accumulates. You don't get any perks or skills or anything. But I believe that's something that's going to be added in 1.9. Such perks as like being able to mine faster or maybe run faster. Um, but it's not set in stone yet, so we really don't know what's going to be put in there. Um, I totally forgot what I was going to do. Come here, chicken. Oh, there we Yeah, I was going to show you about the experience bar. So I'm going to kill this chicken. You're going to see that the bar actually increases. I, that's because I picked up these green orbs that drop every time you kill them, so. So as I said, day one, I'm going to try to just bunker up. Make sure that I have uh, protection. I'm also going to see if I can make some kind of uh, trap so I can get some spiders because I want to get some some silk early. Is it silk? I can't remember what it is, but whatever it is they drop, uh, I want to get that so I can make the bow. I can already I already got some iron, so that's pretty good. That means I can make a bucket now. Um, let's make some torches. Alright, what else do I need? I got a pick. Oh, I need a shovel. Also need to make a furnace. One, two, three. Okay, I need some more. Need some more of this. Yeah, I've been told that uh, hunger, or actually I've been reading, that uh, hunger is not working too well. doesn't deplete fast enough and doesn't really cause a, a challenge. But I'm going to try to make it like I was going to make uh, Man vs. Minecraft. I'm going to eat every single morning and night. Or, yeah, every single, like, breakfast and dinner. <laughs> so there are going to be some similarities with Man vs. Minecraft and the way I'm doing this Let's Play, but... It's not gonna be completely the same. So I wanna make chicken. Okay, also food is now stackable. So that's nice. And as you can see the lighting is taking an overhaul and now it's looking a lot better. Um let me see if I can put some torches down. Yeah, so as you can see there's like an orange glow the farther you get away from it. There's also an option I saw here for brightness. Um, here. So as you can see the difference. Um, let's look at, at that hole right there. Let's see if it gets darker. Or how much darker it gets. Yeah, so as you can see the room got really dark. And I'm going to leave it like that moody. Um, when, when I put up the video on YouTube, I'll see how the quality is. If it's really dark, then you know, I'll try to to brighten it a bit. Put that other coal in here. There's some more coal. Alright. 
I'm gonna go back outside and I'm gonna get some uh, some wood, some more wood. Because cobblestone I can do at night, so I want to get some wood because once it's nighttime I'm probably not gonna be running around here. I also want to set up my actual defense and I want to get some sand too, so I can make some glass. Oops. Sorry about that. Ah. That's good. We should be good with that. Alright. And now I want to get some dirt. This I'll use as my defense. Basically just barricade the entrance. Oop. I don't want to leave that open. Oh yeah, I also want to patch up that uh, that hole. Is it this one? Yeah, I think it's this one. There you go. Um. There we go. It's getting dark, I think. Well, they did some. I don't know if this is LB's photorealism. Patched, or I mean, um, photorealism uh, texture mod that's doing the sunlight, but it looks really nice. Yeah, you can just tell, man. The lighting's is really nice now. Look how dark it is, guys. I didn't put any torches. Also, the furnace shut off. It looks like there's a dungeon somewhere over here. I'm gonna want. I'm gonna have to check this place out and make sure that there's no holes around here. They can come around behind me, like that spot over there. I'm gonna have to wall it off after. Let's do this part first. Sorry about the darkness, I forgot. Um, I'll put some more torches around here. You guys can see a little bit better. This place is pretty big. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see what else I need. Right, hurry up and wall this stuff off. Taking a long time walling this whole place off. I don't want zombies showing up from every direction. That wouldn't be good. You don't have to wall off the entire thing, but just make it so it's only one little hole. The only thing that can get through that are little cave spiders. Looks good. This one, yeah, I gotta do a little bit more work on this one. But before I do that, I'm gonna go on the other side. It is a nice place to start off, but at the same time, it's uh, oh, kind of a hassle to block everything off here. I should have paid attention when I was uh, picking a spot. Okay, it looks like we got everything walled off, I think. Gotta put some more torches in here, this is getting really dark. Alright, um, oh, I gotta wall that off too.
Oh yeah, another thing that um that's new is the FOV field of vision. It used to be like this, automatic like default. Now they've added an option to make it a little bit bigger or Quake Pro insane, which this looks weird. I mean, look how far I can hit that that uh cobblestone from. That's pretty far, man. So I'm gonna put it back to how it was, 82. And that looks a little bit better. I'm surprised so far there's been nothing, no zombies, no spiders, nothing. Usually it's something by now. Now we'll go outside and take a look. I just want to wall off this side of me. Oh my gosh, I keep falling. Okay, let's go eat one of these chickens. Hmm. Okay, so as you can see, I'm not recovering my health at the moment, but I'm going to eat this chicken now. And okay, he's not eating it. Oh, there we go. Okay, you got to hold it down. And let's see if he recovers health now. There we go, see? Just got half a bar back. Should get the other half now. There we go. It says here that when you're when you're moving or when you're doing something, your hunger bar is supposed to deplete and it's supposed to vibrate to let you know that it's depleting. Now it's a possibility that the texture pack that I have on somehow is interfering with that and it's not letting me it's not vibrating because of that. Um, or it could be just bugged, I don't know, but. Alright, so we're gonna go out here and we're gonna take a look and see what we can see. Gotta be careful though. I'm gonna put some torches around here too. Oh yeah, another big thing that was uh, added is the Enderman. Uh, these are just bow people, but Endermen are like these tall figures that Wow, these guys are accurate Okay, I'm not gonna mess around with them um, But yeah, Endermen are tall figures. They have really long arms and they uh... Wow, these guys are hightailing it towards me They have really long arms and they can pick up any single block. Now it was originally thought that they can only pick up blocks that were not placed by the player, but apparently they can't. So if you put a TNT block down, you better be expecting that they can pick it up and walk around with it. So that also means that you're basically not safe inside your house too. They can pretty much just pick up the door and walk around with it, so. Sounds like they're above me. Oh wow, I forgot to plug this hole. Oh, I forgot to plug it. Oh, no. Jeez. I know there's another one of you out there. Ow. There we go. Wow, those guys are annoying. Oh, there's a spider. Where's he at? Oh, he's right behind me. Jeez. So let me get back in here and recover some health. So far everything looks really nice. Um, oh, look at that creeper. Wow, am I glad I blocked that off. You would have caused some trouble. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Oh, man. really don't want to mess around with that guy. Got Alright. I know there's a spider here, but I can't seem to find out where he's at. Let's see if I can get a better look.
No, you're in here, buddy. Either that or you're above me, but... Where does this lead? What is this? I want to find out where this leads. I mean, I can always run back and block it off, but... This is interesting. It leads to another cave or something? Ooh, some coal. Okay, I think I hear some water, so that's a good sign. Usually that means there's a either a cave with some rare minerals in there or a dungeon. Or it could just be water on the ground, but usually that means that there's something that we should be checking out in here. So I'm gonna forget these coal for now and I'm gonna keep going. And dead end. Oh, that has to be the water above me. Yeah, that's what it is. So yeah, that's a dead end. So let's get this coal and then we're gonna head back. Okay, so I'm guessing it's not a dead end. Well, I'm gonna mark it and I'll come back. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe I'll just skip it, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, there's definitely a whole bunch of people above me. I'm gonna wall this off just for security. Whoops. Is it daytime already? Whoa, I am completely lost in here. Did I wall this entire thing off? Oh, there we go. Oh, it is daytime, wow. Man, that was fast. Alright, so I think this is gonna conclude the first day. I might release the, the second day right now. Just record another one. And this, the next one is going to be basically finding a good place for a house, now that I have some more materials. How did that spider die? He jumped? Did you jump from all the way? Wow. You got problems. But, I got some silk, so go ahead and commit suicide all you want. What is this? What is that? What did I just pick up? Ender pearl? Why is it blank? Okay, if I'm not mistaken, an ender pro is from an enderman. So, um, I don't see how he jumped off from all the way up there, but. So, yeah, maybe that, that has to do. That probably has to do with the visual mod. It's messing up some of the stuff, but I mean, it's worth it. The, the visuals on this uh, texture pack is amazing. Again, it's uh, LB photorealistic, and I'll put a link on it in the description. I think I'm running right now 64 by 64, which is in the lowest HD you can get. <coughs> I tried it at 128, but it was lagging too much. Um, so, I, so yeah, I'm gonna conclude the video. Um, stay tuned tomorrow, or actually, you know, the next day, which is now, but the next video, I'm going to go find a good place to start a house and make make a small house somewhere. Uh, it's probably mainly gonna consist of wood with uh, I don't know, maybe I'll spend some time on the next video getting some more cobblestone and make some half wood, half cobblestone. Maybe a cobblestone roof, I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to end this video here and uh, stay tuned for the next one.